Hello guys, it's Jonathan and welcome to another decentralized finance tutorial. Today we are going to learn something very, very important. How to use decentralized apps and Uniswap in particular using a hardware wallet and hardware wallet. In that case, we're going to use Ledger. We're going to connect the Ledger to our MetaMask extension browser in the browser and then send transaction to Uniswap if it's swap, if it's adding liquidity, removing liquidity, etc, etc, and adding another layer of security using our hardware ledger device. So if you have more than $10,000 in crypto, this is super important to use hardware device and use DeFi and decentralized apps using ledger. So if you have more money in this kind of uh, crypto world in DeFi, Please watch this tutorial to the end. We're gonna speak why it's important to use it and how to do it. We'll see it with examples, step by step, super, super easy. But before we start, make sure to subscribe to my channel, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm if you like my content. And also when I post new videos, you will get notification when I post them and you can learn more about DeFi crypto in general. So let's say you have a lot of money in crypto and you don't feel safe holding it on your MetaMask wallet, but you want to stake it, you want to provide liquidity, you want to swap tokens. So Ledger is the solution for you. Hardware wallet is the solution for you. You add another layer of security. And why is that? Because once you use your MetaMask browser extension and sending transaction to decentralized apps like Uniswap, basically the private key is stored inside the memory of your browser and of your computer which means that if someone hacked your computer or if you have a malicious extension that somehow got access to the memory space of the metamask extension then your funds are at risk and he can steal your private key and if someone has your private key he has access to all your tokens when you use a device like Ledger, the private key never touches the computer memory itself, but it resides within it, living inside the device memory itself, encrypted in a secure way. Only when you send transaction, the transactions are coming to this Ledger device, you approve them by clicking the buttons right here, and then you sign them on the Ledger itself, and then the Ledger only send the, trans the signed transaction to the computer, to the MetaMask browser, which broadcasts the transaction to the blockchain but the private key never touches the memory of your computer also if someone had physical access to your computer and somehow he was managed to break your metamask password he will not be able to access the funds because he need also this kind of physical device and also you need to know the pin code that you put because using the pin code, the pin code that you provide in your ledger it encrypts the private key in the ledger itself so if you never heard about Ledger and you don't, don't know what it is, it's a physical hardware, you can buy it here on the Ledger website. By the way guys, if you don't have Ledger yet and you want to buy it, simply use the link that I have in the description below and it will redirect you to the Ledger website where you can buy Ledger S or Ledger X. This is an affiliate link. Actually, by clicking this link, I will get a small commission from the purchase. It will You will pay the same price, but I will get some commission from the Ledger company and it will be very, very, very helpful for me to help me to create more videos, pay to editors and scale my channel up to create more and more and more content because I'm doing it actually right now without any earnings so if you want you like my content you want to support my channel and anyways you're willing to buy ledger please consider using the link in the description below you can buy the nano s which is more affordable it actually enough for this tutorial you can buy the nano x for 60 dollars you can also buy three nano s and get 21 percentage if you have any family members and you want to give them also ledgers if you want to divide your assets to different wallets so you can buy multiple nano s ledgers that's what i'm doing i have multiple ledgers not only one or you can buy the nano x which is doubled of the price in 120 dollars and actually it does it's not necessary to have the nano x it has more storage and it has some kind of advantages but actually the nano s is just fine just fine so i recommend you getting the nano s and again consider using the link in my description in order to support my channel and support my content creation thank you so much now after you bought a device you will have to set it up basically the setup is super super easy super super simple you just plug it here with a usb plug it to your computer 
and then you will have in your ledger screen you will see all the setup process you will have to set up your pin pin code you set up a new pin code and then you will get your seed phrase it's 24 watts that using these watts you can uh, basically recover the private key of the ledger this is important to keep it in a safe place that only you know no one has access to it because and you will never lose it because if you lose it you lose and and you lose the ledger then or forgot the pin code then your funds are gone and if someone found it it can recover restore your ledger and steal all your tokens so once the setup is done you will have a pin code now i'll have to supply my pin code in order to unlock the ledger so after setting up the ledger and putting in the pit code, the next thing that you will have to do is download an app, an app called Ledger Live. This app is basically lets you manage and install applications install inside your ledger device, update it when there is an update. So you can download it from the main ledger website. And again, I will put a link in the description below. So we have a link in the description on the YouTube video to download the app super, super easy. After downloading, you will open the app. That's how it looks like. The ledger is connected to your computer and you go here to manager on the left side menu. Once you will go to manager, you will see here that a prompt in your ledger has been uh, raised allow ledger you will have to click this kind of two buttons in order to allow the ledger live app to access the ledger device after you clicked and improved you can see here the summary of your ledger the firmware type the ledger name how much capacity it has and the next thing that you will have to do is scroll down to app catalog and install ethereum app because in order to start using smart contracts with this ledger device, you will have to use the Ethereum app. So after clicking here, install, it will add this kind of small app to your ledger and install the necessary code inside the device. So it will load and install, as you can see here. Now it's installed and you see there is a new app that has been added to your ledger. I'm going to open it by clicking these two buttons. Now you will see application is ready. In that stage, you can close the Ledger Live uh, app. You will not need it anymore. You will not use it anymore. So I'm going to get into the Ethereum app by double clicking this, by clicking these two buttons. And the next thing you need to do is go to settings right here. And you need to enable blind signing because if you want to enable it, you will not be able to send transaction to smart contracts using the, the, the ledger. So by standing on blind signing and clicking these two buttons, you change the state from not enabled to enable and now your ledger is ready to send transaction. Now the first stage that you will have to use is using a Firefox web browser with a MetaMask wallet. I'm assuming that you already know what is MetaMask wallet and you're already familiar with it, but if not, I have video tutorial about MetaMask, how it works, how to use it, etc., etc. But a very important thing is to use Firefox browser. Why? Because on Chrome and Brave, now the new versions of Chromium, the Chrome, Chrome browser basically, there is a problem that they do not support some kind of feature that the ledger uses, the hardware wallet uses. So you will have to use Firefox browser with MetaMask. Now let's say you already have MetaMask installed. The next thing you will have to do to open your MetaMask, click here on the avatar and connect harder, hardware wallet. So now you are basically connecting your ledger device to the MetaMask. You are connecting them to together and you have to do it because your ledger device cannot connect to RPC nodes and interact with decentralized apps on the browser. You will send, you basically use the MetaMask in order to interact with Uniswap, which is a DAP, and the ledger will only sign the transactions and send them back to your MetaMask wallet. So I'm gonna choose here ledger, click continue, And now the MetaMask will look for your ledger device. And once it's done, you will see a list of accounts that are your ledger has. You will have to pick the account that has the Ethereum or the BNB, in that case Ethereum, because we are working with Uniswap. But if it's a brand new ledger, all of them will have zero. In that case, I have some BNB here. So I'm going to click select the first one and click unlock. And there you go, guys. Congratulations. You connected your ledger to the MetaMask. And now you can start using your MetaMask and sign transaction with the ledger in a much more secure way using decentralized apps like Uniswap. So basically, it's very, very similar 
like sending normal transactions with MetaMask. You will have to send them through Uniswap and then a prompt of MetaMask will come. And then after the prompt you approve it, then you will have to approve it twice in the ledger. So if someone hacks your computer, he cannot steal your funds because you will also have to have your ledger device and to know the code, the pin code that you had it. So let's click and connect our wallet to MetaMask, to Uniswap. And I will change here for Binance Merchant to Ethereum. And now you can see right here that you have a new account. You have the normal MetaMask account and then another Ledger One account. And you can see here the label that it's a hardware wallet. It's a hardware wallet and not a normal wallet. You can see here the Ledger. Let's refresh the page and exit PancakeSwap so it will not interrupt with us. And there you go. Now we select here to connect the Ledger and not the normal account to the Uniswap app. And Congratulations, your ledger is now connected through MetaMask to Uniswap app. Now let's say I want to uh, swap, let's say one Ethereum to USDT. Actually, I don't have any anything in this wallet, so and also the transactions on fees on Ethereum are super high right now. So I, I will show you just a same example in PancakeSwap because the transaction fees are much uh, lower and I already have some BNB in, in Binance, Binance Smart Chain but it's the exact same thing in Uniswap so this is the example I'm gonna just open PancakeSwap but let's say you want to swap token in Uniswap it will be the exact same thing like I'm doing right now in PancakeSwap so I'm just changing it to Binance Smart Chain the same thing same methodology I'm going to swap tokens so in Uniswap, you would go here, you, let's say you want to swap Ether for USDT, you set, set one Ether, you connect your wallet, you send a transaction and the prompt will be on MetaMask. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing just from BNB to Cake. That's the only difference. Um, connect the ledger. So I'm connecting the ledger to the PancakeSwap app. You do the exact same thing in Uniswap right here. I'm just not gonna pay these high fees, I'm sorry. And I'll just put 0 0.001 BNB and we're gonna swap some BNB to Cake. In that case, in Uniswap, you can swap any other tokens that you want. And I will click the swap button, confirm swap. And then you will see there is a MetaMask prompt that now we can see that it's from the ledger itself to the PancakeSwap smart contract. In Uniswap, it will be to the Uniswap smart contract. This is the only difference. I will click confirm right here and now after confirming the transaction, it will not be sent to the blockchain as normal transactions in, in MetaMask because we need to confirm it now in the ledger device because you have to remember that the ledger is the one that is signing the transaction. So we'll have this kind of prompt in the ledger review transaction and we will go all the way here. Here using this button, you will go all the way until we see accept transaction. So I'm going to click now here accept and send. And only after I accepted and confirmed the transaction in my ledger device, you can see that the transaction has submitted to the blockchain. It will work the exact same thing in Uniswap or OneInch or SushiSwap or any other dApps. And you can see now the transaction has been done after I confirmed it with my ledger device and I switch one zero point one zero point zero zero one BNB to some cake, just as an example. So this is how you can basically use Ledger device to level up your security while using DeFi, while using Uniswap, while providing liquidity, staking, yield farming, etc, etc. So this is super, super important and I hope that more and more and more people will watch it and learn how to secure their funds because now you are responsible to your funds. It's your wallet. It's your responsibility. No bank will refund you the funds if someone hacks your wallet. No centralized exchange will restore your funds. It's your funds and it's your responsibility to learn about how to secure them. And please help me with my mission to make DeFi and blockchain and people using crypto more secure by smashing the like button, by subscribing to my channel and sending this video to many more people, your friends or family that are using crypto and don't know how to use hardware wallets with DeFi, send them these tutorials and tell them about this channel and about my channel and about this content. Thank you so much. I hope that you learned something new and now your funds are safer and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.